happy with your brand new HDTV. hurts audio sampling frequency that that my head hurts just trying to wrap my mind around that it's gonna have dual video streams for multiple users on a single screen it's gonna have multi-stream audio to as many as four users at once and it could do a 21 by 9 widescreen aspect ratio which is interesting to me because that uh, 3840 by 2160 which is considered 4k um, only is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio so for them to it can handle up to 1,536 kilohertz put off you by forcing you to get something new. Anyway, here's the uh, delicious bullet points for HDMI 2.0. It's going to have bandwidth capacity of up to 18 gigabits per second. It's going to have a uh, max resolution of 3840 by 2160 at up to 60 frames per second. It's going to have the same connector as the original HDMI, so it's going to be backwards compatible with legacy, you know, your your super old two-year-old Blu-ray player. It only does 1080p, you know, it'll be compatible with that. It can handle up to 1,536 kilohertz audio sampling frequency. That that My head hurts just trying to wrap my mind around that. It's going to have dual video streams for multiple users on a single screen. It's going to have multi-stream audio to as many as four users at once, and it could do a 21 by 9 widescreen aspect ratio, which is interesting to me because that uh, 3840 by 2160, which is considered 4K, um, only is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So for them to stretch the picture out even further, to go up to 21 to by 9, I'm guessing they're going to have to lower the resolution. I don't think they could do 4K across the whole 21 by 9. According to this, I could be wrong, though. You know, when HDTVs first came on the scene in the early 2000s, I remember I was actually working, I was on holiday break from college, and I was working at Best Buy over the Christmas break, and they had, God, it was a Pioneer Plasma TV. I only think it was 1080i, which really is only 720p, because 1080i is interlaced. And it was like $15,000 or $20,000. It was like a 42-inch TV, nothing ginormous, nothing special. It had to have this like secondary processing box that you, like it was this big box you had to have like under a table. And it was like $20,000, but it was when you first saw an HD, that wasn't even full HD, it blew your mind. It was like, holy shit, this is like looking through glass. And now... I almost feel like, and I think they know this, that no one really, at least yet, gives a shit about 4K, but they have to, now, that's why you're seeing, like, I, I have a Toshiba TV in my bedroom, it's 39 inches, it costs me next to nothing, and it even does 120 hertz. Now that all of the 1080p technology and HDTV technology's paid off, they're not making, it's like they need something else to keep profiting off of, so they're shoving 4K down our throats and no one's really ready for it yet people are just still people are just starting to i know people still with the regular tube tvs i mean i think it's kind of ridiculous at this point especially when you could go to big lots and pick up a high def 1080p flat screen for 150 bucks not even but people still have tube tvs and now you're going all the way to 4k i i just scratch my head i mean i sit next to a 42 inch TV. I mean, granted, I need new glasses. I, I fell asleep on mine and they're being held together by a piece of uh, shrink tubing right now. I cannot wait till October when I get my new ones. Um, I sit up close to one of these TVs with my glasses on and you can barely see, you don't even really even see the pixels. So going up to 4K, I just don't think, 
It's going to be a tougher, I mean, I think it'll do okay. I don't think it's going to be a fad like 3D at all. It's just a natural progression of resolution, even though I think they're coming out with it somewhat prematurely. But it's just not going to have that wow factor. It's not going to have, people are still 